But there have been a number of similar scenes like this recently. Two of them were linked to separate decades old cold cases. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live in plantation with the exclusive new details. Andrew. You've got to remember there's so many families caught up in the middle of these cases and we spoke with some of those families who've been in limbo for decades until this weekend. A missing mystery with some answers now. The story of Doris and Karen Wurst brought to light decades later. I could see something laying on the back seat. And it looked like a purse or something like that. I couldn't tell what it was. I brought it up and we realized that it's a kid's toy. Days after the historic find in Plantation in the water by a volunteer cold case search team with sonar, Doris's relatives sharing memories, happier times with her twin, three sisters from Philadelphia, as they await confirmation of the remains that were found in Doris's Chevy Impala, they say they are grateful to that team. 20 years ago at this time, we were down in Florida looking for the car. That same team bringing closure to Joey Novick and his family. They found his father's car as well submerged. Bernie Novick went missing in 2004. We had a uh, memorial service, I guess about five years later, and I really put everything uh, behind us with uh, with closure and I think I had always imagined that something like this is the way it happened. The 83 year old World War II veteran had gone missing from his home less than two miles away. He lived in the Lauderdale West community. Police desperately searched the waters all around his home. Both his car and Doris's found near Broward Boulevard and Knob Hill Road. Decades apart but blocks away from each other. Novick saying he can now lay his father to rest in peace. More than one person came up to me and said, you know, your dad was the first one who came up to me in Lauderdale West. He uh, didn't know who I was and he walked right up to me and said, I don't know you, I'm Bernie. Uh, I am um, very proud of him and I learned a lot from him. He lives in my brain and my heart every day. He says he can now put his father's remains with his mother's remains as well. Both families, by the way, saying they're so grateful to that team, that volunteer team, Sunshine State Sonar. We've got more information about them on our website, local10.com. That's latest here in Plantation. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. That volunteer dive team, superheroes mm -hmm. for families, angels for so many. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot there, Andrew.